Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Yaje. If you've been here before, hello and welcome back. Um, today I want to share with you how I do make cauliflower rice or fried cauliflower rice. It's a very healthy recipe, great for weight loss if you're trying to lose weight and yeah, it's low in calories. It is packed with a lot of nutrients, low in carbohydrates, okay? So I hope you try this. So real quick, here are the ingredients. I'm using cauliflower. I have already riced the cauliflower. I've shared a video of how you can do this, either using a food processor or a grater, or you can use a knife. I used a food processor to get my cauliflower rice. And then I'm gonna be using some peas. I already cooked the peas in the microwave. And then over here I have onions. This is one large onion diced. I have a variety of bell peppers, all the colors. When you see colors, you know it, everything is healthy. I have some green onions over here, some hot peppers, seasoning cubes. This is optional, you can skip that. And then I also have ginger and garlic over here. And in the bowl, I have some eggs, black pepper, some salt, and then oil in there. So we're gonna be having this cauliflower rice with steak. I have already seasoned my steak with some black pepper, some salt, and it's been marinating for about an hour now. And I'm going to cook this in the air fryer while I cook the cauliflower rice. My air fryer. Steak and start. I have my pot already getting hot over here, and now I'm going to add some salt to the cauliflower just to get to season it mix that properly so I added about a teaspoon of salt cauliflower is very bland if you're wondering how it tastes like it would take the taste of whatever seasoning you use on it so don't be thinking that this will not taste good. It will actually taste good. Okay. So while that is going, I'm going to season my eggs with a little bit of salt as well. And then I'll fry the eggs. So I took the eggs out and add a little bit more oil in my pot and then I will saute the onions I will let this cook for about two to three minutes.
been about two minutes. Now I'm going to just add my cauliflower rice to the mix. And my ginger and garlic. Adding a little bit of hot pepper. This is hot dry pepper. It's very, very hot. One this is soy sauce, it's completely optional, but I like that Asian taste, so add a little bit of soy sauce, just a little. You don't want to overcook the cauliflower. You still want a little bit of crunch. So how long it takes to cook just depends on the size of the cauliflower rice. So make sure you keep tasting it and adjust seasoning. Basically ready. And then I'm going to add the eggs to it. So next, I'm going to add the green onions. If your cauliflower rice is not properly cooked through, you can put the lid on and cook for an additional minute or so. Guys, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, I hope you do consider hitting on the red subscribe button and also ringing on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video on healthy living, you don't miss out on anything. So yes, I just added my peas. Remember the peas were already cooked. I cooked in the microwave, but you can use a pot. I use frozen peas just for the added color and the extra nutrition. So our cauliflower rice is basically ready. Um, this whole thing took 10 minutes or less. After you're done prepping um, the ingredients, it's, it cooks in less than no time. So I'm going to go check on my steak now and dinner is basically ready. Thank you so very much for watching. This makes a great leftover for lunch the next day. So make sure that you save some for lunch or you make enough to save some for lunch. We did enjoy dinner. I hope you consider trying this recipe. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and again, please help me grow by subscribing. I will catch you in my next video. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.